To run the software, either go to the application list and click on DX Series 0.2.2, or if you created a desktop shortcut, double click on that. A new project window is automatically created. This will be blank to start with. The first three icons at the top of the project window allow you to create a new project, load an existing one or save the current project. The next two icons are for adding processors to the project. The first is to add device. Select whether the processor you wish to add is a DX0.4 or DX0.6. Choose the connection method, either USB, RS485 or TCP IP. If you have selected RS485, you will need to select the RS485 ID. The drop-down gives you the option of selecting from 1 to 32. For TCP IP, you will need to enter an IP address unique to that processor. Once the appropriate selection has been made, click Add and the processor will appear in the project window. The other icon allows a search of connected devices over any of the three connection protocols. For TCP IP and RS485, it is necessary to enter the IP or the 485 ranges. You can add as many processors as you need for the project. The limits are a single DX0.4 or DX0.6 connected via USB, up to 32 connected via RS485, and a virtually unlimited number connected via TCP IP. These will all appear offline when first added to the project. You can open processors and edit them offline, or you can take processors online individually by clicking on the offline text above the appropriate processor. Alternatively, you can use the icons on the toolbar for connect all, which will take all connected processors online, and there is also a disconnect all, which will take all connected processors offline. When a processor goes online, you will be prompted to select either read current settings from device, useful if you have already programmed some settings via the processor front panel, or load current settings to a device. You would use this option if you have programmed settings from the desktop application offline. Once a processor is online, the text above the processor in the project workspace changes to online and turns green. The group function adds a VCA style control to the input or inputs of any of the processors in the project. This gives a global control of input level in addition to the input gain control available on each processor in the gains and mute window. The gain added to a channel from a group is shown in the gain and mute window above the channel gain value in orange. Click on the icon to add a group. You can give the group a suitable name. All available devices are listed with boxes for input channels A and B, which can be checked to include that processor in the group. If the box is greyed out, it means that the channel is already a member of another group. Channels can only be a member of a single group. Once you have selected all the channels to be a member, click Add and the group appears as a window with a fader and a list of all the channels that are members. The fader can be drag and drop to any value or specific values can be typed in directly followed by Enter. The group can also mute all members, which will be shown in each processor by the input mute for the channel involved turning red. A settings button on the group window allows you to amend the group members or closing the window using the red X will remove the group. 